the you know who from Examon Gaming and today guys I'm bringing you an updated video for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 so if you haven't been keeping up with the news on brute force save data's community let me tell you guys on what's going on first and foremost the cheats for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has been released in the new cheat database or cheat repository for brute force save data that is right the cheats for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has been released in the newest cheat database so if you didn't get it off of root save data reform I'm gonna have a link below you guys can get it I'll show you guys in a few minutes how to add the cheats or sorry the cheat database or cheat repository to your brute force say that so you can have the cheats or if you just want to have updated cheats I did make a video a couple of days ago to show you guys how to do that but I'll show you one more time but let's get back to the topic the topic is the cheats for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has been released for brute force save data plus the new checksum fix for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has been released so I'm here to show you guys how to apply the cheats correctly to your save so that you can enjoy the cheats on brute force save data so first and foremost before you do anything you need to have the latest version of brute force save data which is 474 as always you can get it two places you can get it at brute force save data reform.net or I will have a link below but let me actually go over to the brute force save data site so I can show you what's going on so first and foremost the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 checksum fixer is working as they said but you need to have 474 so if you don't have an account on brute force save data dot reform dot net I encourage you guys to actually go and sign up I've been saying this and I'm gonna say it again these guys are wonderful they will help you but it's up to you guys to actually reach out to them and let them know what is and isn't working with the checksum fixer or the actual cheats but first and foremost you go over here you get the 474 which is the latest brute force save data and above it you have the latest database which includes Kingdom Hearts 2.5 remix so once you have those two then you want to go over to brute force save data most important to avoid any errors you need to run this as admin so I'm gonna run it as admin let's give it a second it's gonna open up and it's open so first and foremost what you want to do which I have already is go down to your save which is right here now I want to point this out real quick so you guys don't make this mistake the one that's highlighted is my save the one below it that says launcher is just system data you do not apply the cheats to your system data only to your save I made that mistake so I'm trying to point this out to you guys before you try to go and apply the cheats your system data you don't need it just the save so the first thing you want to do is decrypt as always hit yes all right then you want to go to your cheats and apply your cheats and here are all the cheats for um sorry guys about that update for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 remix now for the for, for mm, I got tons out for the most part most of the cheats do work I tested them most of them work but again I could have overlooked the ones that didn't work so I advise you guys to test out the cheats and let me know what does work and what doesn't work and I'll send an email to brute force say that a community letting them know that this cheat doesn't work and hopefully they can fix it but guys as you can see these are all the cheats that's available and this is for the euro so if you plan to use the US save I'm pretty much sure either two things it has the same or it has a little bit more but the, I have the euro version so this is what's available and I tried it out so once you apply your cheats right apply 
you want to stay on the screen and open up the checksum fixer, right? Now, what you want to do is go to open, right? Give it a second. Now, wherever you stored the save at on your desktop or on a USB flash drive, that's where you want to go. I actually have this save on a USB flash drive. So I'm going to go to my computer. And I'm going to go to my PS3, my save data. And I want to go all the way to my savers, which is right here. Click on it. Click on this. Hit open. Let it load. Hit fix checksum. And it tells you checksum has fixed. Please encrypt via brute force save data later. Hit OK. And you're done. Now, you could do either two things. You could close it or minimize it. I usually just minimize it. And then I go to encrypt, right? Encrypt decrypted files, right? I hit yes. And what you want to do once it's encrypted is verify PFD. The reason why you want to do this, this is going to tell you if you did something wrong. So I'm going to hit verify. And as you guys can see, everything says okay. Everything is okay. So that lets me know that the cheats are applied. Now, keep in mind, that doesn't necessarily mean because you did it right here that all the cheats is going to work. Some of the cheats can still be bad. So that's why I encourage you guys to test it out and let me know so I can communicate that to the brute force save data community and they can look into it and then I can respond to you guys on how to fix this. But that's pretty much it. And then you just copy the save back over to your PS3 and start it up. One important thing that I want to point out, because I know you guys probably have multiple saves, when you apply the cheats, make sure you use the first save, which is 00. zero. From what I heard and read is that the cheats don't work if you don't use 00, zero slot. It can work in zero 01, but you have to reassign it to zero 01, which I haven't done that yet. I only used slot 00, zero and the cheats work. So don't forget that you need to use slot 00, zero if you do not reassign it to another slot. Just fair warning before you do this. Second thing I want to say to you guys, before you actually load this up on your PlayStation, I would say make sure you do a backup. Do not try this on your main account unless you know 100% works. Um, make a dummy account, or if you plan to do this on your main account, make a backup, because I'm telling you now something going wrong. Don't email me telling me it doesn't work. Fair warning. And the last but final thing that I want to say before I close this out is thank you, Brute Force Save Data community, for doing the hard work you guys do. Um, I appreciate it. I'm going to say that. Again, I, I really do because you guys always come through with the latest cheats or this hash keys for any of the newest games released. And I want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Anything else that I left out? I Oh, if you start a fresh save and you apply these cheats, when you get to that actual part where you have to select the sword or the shield or the wand, that is when the actual cheats is going to work. The cheats, you have to at least beat one enemy and the cheats will take an effect. So the part where you have to get the money or do those tasks and go to the subway station, it won't, it will look like it doesn't work. But once you get to that part where you fight your very first enemy, then it will take an effect, which is when I got to the part where it asked me to select the sword, the wand, the shield, I select the sword, I fought the enemies. Once that scene was over, then the cheat started to pop up. So I, I want you guys to know that from now because I thought it wasn't working, but it actually was working. But that's pretty much it, guys. As always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. If you guys like this video, leave a comment below. Leave a like. 
as as always i'm here to help you guys and i will be making a new video for i believe it's birth to sleep sorry if i said that wrong that's the other game that's on kingdom hearts 2.5 because those cheats are also out but i didn't get a chance to actually test it i will test it in a little while and i'll make the video and let you guys know what's the feedback with the cheats but as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and peace.